Hello everybody and welcome to this course about creating lightsaber battles using the open source software OpenTools. If you're interested in following the entire course, you can find it on Skillshare or on Udemy. There's a link in the description. In the previous video we animated my severed arm. It sounds so morbid every time I say that. Anyway, in this video we're going to use special effects in OpenTunes to delete the original arm from my footage. So let's go. What we're going to do is we're going to use a local transparency special effects. But before we do that, we need to first draw a transparency mask. So let's start by creating a new level and let's make it a vector level. We're going to name it transparency mask. I already created it once before, so I'm just to save time, I'm going to rename it to a new mask. And I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle covering the entire screen. Then let's use the fill tool. Create a new color white and fill it in and just to demonstrate i'm going to add a circle and i'm going to fill that circle in in black so now i've got a black circle on a white background next let's open up the schematic and go to the fx schematic Here we have our transparency mask. Let's delete the line and move it down here, just so that it will be closer to the column one, which contains the original footage. And I'm gonna add an FX called the local transparency. The local transparency has two inputs, a source and reference. The footage goes to the source and the reference goes to the transparency mask. And then I'm going to put it to the X sheet. Now, what do we see here? We see that all the parts where the transparency mask was white have become transparent. And all the parts where the transparency mask was black show the original footage. Let's switch this around. Let's make the circle white and the rectangle black. Now we have the up the parts of column one which correspond to the black region have become opaque and the parts corresponding to the white region have become transparent. Next we import the background image which we created before. And let's move this background image all the way to the back behind all the other columns. And as you can see, now it looks like a part of my body has been made invisible. Okay, let's extend these layers down. And also extend the transparency mask down. So what we want to do is adjust this transparency mask so that only my arm becomes invisible. First, let's deactivate the preview of the special effect and then make the column transparent so that we can see what's happening in the columns beneath. And then let's remove this circle. And let's use polyline instead. Let's also quickly hide the layer showing the severed arm. And let's plot out a shape roughly corresponding to my arm. We can use the control point editor to modify to fine tune the shape. And let's use the fill tool to fill it in in white. And let's reactivate the special effects preview. 
and make sure that columns 3 and 4 are properly hidden. Okay, so now as we scrub through the timeline, we see that we will need to adjust the transparency mask as I move around. So let me go down to a later frame and press on D to duplicate the drawing. And in the new drawing, I can modify the control points using the control point editor. And we repeat it frame by frame until we get to the end of the animation. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks quite good, but as you can see, at some parts there's some super obvious seams with the background. We can solve this by making the transparency mask a bit blurry, so that the seams are not that obvious anymore. We can apply a blur to the transparency mask using a special effect. Just add a blur effect on this line. Looking at the shoulder, we see that the blur effect is a bit too strong now. So double click on the blur rectangle and decrease the strength of the blur. After a little try on error, seems like two millimeters is an appropriate value. The seam with the background is a lot less obvious now. Next, we would like to patch up the torso. You will no doubt have noticed that at the parts where the arm moves in front of the torso, it seems like part of the torso becomes invisible. In order to fix that, let's first import the picture which we edited before of the body. And let's move it to just before the background. And as you can see, it already does a lot to cover up the invisible parts of the torso. Next, let's unhide the lightsaber and the arm and see what the animation looks like as a whole. or in high speed. Looks good, we just need to make some adjustments here to the duration of these columns. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is go through the animation and look for blemishes like these. And we're going to fix them using another kind of level called a raster level. Rasters levels don't use shapes and vectors, but they use brushes like in the old fashioned way. So first let's use the color picker to pick this blue color. And then let's hide the lightsaber because it's blocking my view. And let's go to the brush and I'm going to set the hardness to zero. Hard, a very soft brush means that the edges will be very fuzzy. And I'm just going to click over these blemishes. And we need to extend this drawing to cover more than one frame, of course. And we need to make sure that this blue blob, essentially I'm just drawing a blue blob. We need to make sure that this blue blob, which I'm drawing, covers all the blemishes across all the frames in question. 
And we mustn't forget to move this blue blob column actually behind the lightsaber column and behind the seven arm column. Otherwise, the blob will block the view of the lightsaber and the falling arm. Okay, so that's it. With this, we're essentially finished with all the animation. In the next video, we're going to add audio resources. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.